Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in YQR AutoCAD and in this today video tutorial I am going to discuss with you architectural symbols and index symbols so I am going to YQR here and in the last video tutorial we discussed about decoration components so now I am going to start with architectural symbols so if you go and select architectural symbols you can see index of symbols here like in other uh, topics like decoration components there is index of decoration in building components also there is index components so this is the uh, brief introduction of all these commands below so if you go to our picture symbol and select index of symbols you can see all the commands are given in figurative form here in like auto six axis symbols coordinates so we'll discuss it briefly so i'm going to yq arc here and architectural symbols and now i'm going to select arrange axis symbol this one is first command here so it is for arranging axis symbols so i have drawn some axis here one two three four and i'm going to arrange axis symbols so now i'm going to select this now it is asking select object so i'm going to select first object and now i'm going to select second third fourth and fifth and now i'm going to enter and you can see it has automatically uh drawn axis symbols here one two three four five and it has given dimensions also so it will save a lot of time so work your work is very handy here so uh i'm going to again copy this axis here and i'm going to yq arc here Artificial symbols and now it is draw axis symbol so it is automatically drawn now you can draw one by one so i'm going to select draw axis symbols and now it is asking pick the end point of the first axis so this is my first axis and i'm going to select this now it is asking a start axis number one two three four a b c so whatever number you want to start with you can uh, write it here so i'm going to start with uh, a enter and you can see this is the a and now it is asking pick the end point of the second axis so i'm going to select the second axis and enter the next axis number so i'm going to enter b here and i'm going to enter and you can see it has automatically uh, drawn the uh, symbol here and it has given dimensions also so you can likewise you can uh, do this and i'm going to enter c enter again i'm going to enter here and i'm going to enter d and so likewise you can draw axis here so it will save a lot of time so i'm going to array digital symbols and now it is geodesic coordinates so you can draw geodesic coordinates also it is asking pick point of our so i'm going to pick one point here and you can uh, pick the symbol location so i'm going to select click here so you can see this is the geodesic uh, term symbol so likewise uh, you can utilize in your projects this is designed elevation so this is shortcut command is busy and you can draw design elevation somewhere in your project so likewise if you'll move your mouse up and down it will change the height and you can mark your elevations next is contour elevation so you can mark your contour elevation also suppose if you are drawing any contour line and if you want to mark your contour you can select so i am going to select any contour line here so i will draw quickly any contour line here suppose i am going to draw any contour line here and i am going to yq work here architectural symbols and contour elevation and i am going to select this object and i'm going to enter and you can see this is the contour elevation marking here so likewise you can use this symbol here and next is section plane symbol here so you can draw section plane symbol so i'm going to select this and, and now it is asking first point here so suppose i'm going to select first point and now i'm going to enter second point here and you can select the next point and you can see you can enter and likewise you can draw section uh, plane here you can see this is the section plane line you can draw this section here you can see this one is section and you can use this for your project and 
and this one is section symbol this one was section plane symbol this one is section symbol so this is almost similar so i am going to architectural symbol and this one is section symbol so i am going to first point select first point now i am going to select second point and now i am going to select the direction point here and you can see this is the section symbol is drawn here so one on one so likewise there are some uh, useful architectural symbols so this one is slope symbol so i'm going to select this now it is asking the arrow point so my arrow is like this and you can select the next point so i'm going to select in this direction and now it is asking height mode decimal so i'm going to simply enter and you can see this is the slope symbol here and you can see it is 1.00 percent so likewise you can use these symbols and you can make your detailed drawing this one is disconnection line so in autocad it takes some few minutes to draw this disconnection line but in this yqr you can draw in seconds so i'm going to select on disconnection line and it is asking start point so i'm going to start from here and now i'm going to give my second point here and you can see this break line is drawn here so or you can call it as a disconnection line and you can draw in seconds so using yqr so i'm going to the next symbol here this one is a uh, pipe cutting symbol so if you have drawn any pipe here so suppose i am going to draw a symbol here like a pipe and i am going to yqr architectural symbols and can use this pipe cutting symbol and now it is asking first line so i'm going to draw this first line and now i'm going to enter my second point here and i'm going to enter and you can see this uh pipe cutting symbol is drawn here so i'm going to add virtual symbols and this one is for symmetry axis you can draw symmetry axis it is a start point and the second point and you can draw this symmetry axis and next is the central line so we can use central line i'm going to start point here and now this is my second point and now this is my next point and you can enter anywhere and you can see this is the central line so you can draw any central line using this uh, symbol and this one is wire surround so you can draw any wire surround here suppose i am going to draw any circle here and i am going to yq arc architectural symbols and wire surround and you can draw any curve so i select curve or radius setting so i am going to select this curve you can see this symbol is drawn here wire surround and you can delete this also going to our virtual symbols and erase surround so i am going to select this and i am going to erase this so this is erased here i surround and next symbol is bent arrow so you can draw bent arrow so it is asking arrow point so i am going to give this as a point and this is my second point and now i am going to give this as end point here so this is the bent arrow next is entrance arrow so you can draw any entrance suppose uh, this is our building entrance here so and i am going to select this from here and till here and so this it so the arrow is drawn so you can save a lot of time using yq work so this was the today's tutorial for artificial symbols in the next topic we'll discuss some more information about yq work so please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye